there was absolutely no doubt I would be doing a part 3 for 10 secrets many players missed in Red Dead Redemption 2. There are simply too many secrets in this game for any one individual to know them all, so I'm always amazed when I stumble upon something that I've never noticed before in this game, it certainly catches me off guard. So of course, please enjoy 10 Red Dead Redemption 2 secrets many players missed part 3. That doesn't necessarily mean that you missed them, but let's be real here, plenty of players will. And exploring a game's secrets is certainly a little bit of a passion of mine at the moment, so we're just going to have some fun, and that's kind of the crack really. So if you're hungry for knowledge, please enjoy. Speaking of hungry, here is a message from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Do you like food? Me too. After all, we all have to eat. HelloFresh is a service that provides delicious seasonal recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients delivered straight to your doorstep. This service is both affordable and saves you the hassle of running about in the supermarket looking for all the ingredients only to come home and realise you've forgotten the asparagus. These scrans are delicious and with Hello Custom you can customise your box, swapping out one protein or side for another, upgrading for a more luxurious experience, or adding protein to a vegetarian meal. This means more variety and options to tailor the food to what you want. You can also choose how many meals you want per week and how many people you need to feed. Effortlessly save yourself time, money and stress. Step-by-step -step recipes means you can cook stress-free. HelloFresh meals also cut back the time you'll have to spend in the kitchen, with most dishes taking around 30 minutes and often less. HelloFresh also helps you reach your goals, offering a variety of meal kit types to suit vegetarians, pescatarians, and of course, people like me who enjoy meat. For the purpose of this video, I decided to cook a Thai red style prawn curry, and if I can follow these instructions to make a delicious meal, then anyone can. Oh yeah, this is true. So follow the link in the description or go to hellofresh.com and use my code POGFISHYSEP16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes plus 3 surprise gifts. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. So what are you waiting for? Go get some scran in you. And now, back to the video. Secret number one brings us out to tall trees west of Blackwater where we can discover the fate of the Blackwater Athletics team. In a newspaper article, we can read about how the Blackwater Athletics team have gone missing. Well, at this spot on the map, we can find their remains piled together in a shallow mass grave and clear signs of foul play and mutilation besides. Clearly, whilst out training, the Blackwater Athletics team ran afoul of some unsavoury people. However, this doesn't seem to suit the local Skinner Brothers modus operandi, so it's led players to speculate what fate actually befell these men. There are plenty of theories out there as to who killed these men. One such theory is that this is the handiwork of serial killer Edmund Lowry Jr. And while he's no stranger to high body counts, all at once makes it a little bit less believable. How would he be able to incapacitate this many men? That being said, there are aspects that give this theory some weight. All we know for sure about the Blackwater Athletics team is they were murdered. Secret number two is the dark secret of Manzanita Post. In Red Dead Redemption 2, Manzanita Post is predominantly Norwegian settled, and can be found in tall trees a short ride southwest of Blackwater. Before coming here, if you're lucky enough to encounter a campfire at which you're not immediately shot at, there is a chance you've heard a story in which there's something not quite right about this place. The people mean well, at least as far as I can tell, however it appears as if they fled from something quite tragic. In a house on the southern side of the settlement, you can find a picture under the floorboard. The picture on the front of the piece of paper shows a family, and on the back it simply reads Uren, which translates to unclean or unpure. Inside the chimney we can find a note also written in Norwegian, the game offers no translation for this note, it doesn't even give you the read prompt, it simply is what it is, and it reads as follows. When translated of course, I don't speak Norwegian, it would be really strange if I dropped that skill on you. To live with this guilt is not to live, it is a slow and painful death, the very least I deserve. I hate to sleep, for then their faces is the only thing I see, and their screams the only thing I hear. Father says that it was the only option, but he becomes more concerned for every passing day. He knows, we know, may the Lord be with us. 
Now, there is also a newspaper scrap that can be found elaborating on this story, but in order to find it, we need to find a local and commit an act of violence and then loot their body. I'm sorry, it's the only way. When translated, the scrap reads, Horrible murder in Lingdal. A man, a woman and a child found beaten and stabbed to death in the forest behind Orstad yesterday morning. Rumour has it the man originated from Tangier in French North Africa, and that the woman was part of a religious group that lived on a farm close to Corsham. The child was no more than two years old. The rest of the small religious group, that according to locals mostly stayed to themselves, have disappeared into thin air, and the police urges anyone who might know the current location of the group to get in touch as soon as possible. It appears that group murdered this family, and then relocated to Manzanita Post here in Tall Trees, West Elizabeth. For secret number three, we are remaining in Tall Trees for a short distance east of Manzanita Post we can find two abandoned wagons from a circus. In one we can find the skeletal remains of what appear to be conjoined twins. A painting of them is marked on the side of the overturned wagon. It appears as if for some reason they have been very politely left to die. The other wagon identifies this abandoned caravan as property of the Fincher Brothers Travelling Circus and Minstrel Show. We can actually head inside this one where we will find Madame Irene, who tells fortunes for only one cent. However, since she's been abandoned here, we can just punch it. A fortune seeker, I shall provide. You may not know where you are going, but you should cut your hair before you get there. Rather than tell fortunes, the doll will give you some advice, and it's disturbingly Good advice, considering if you rock up dirty, she'll point this out. If you have long hair, she'll point this out. If you have a long beard, she will let you know it doesn't suit you. It's kind of creepy, actually. So yeah, that's the abandoned travelling circus wagons anyway. I am looking deep into my crystal ball. Yes, here we are. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And you are next to revolting. Maybe visit a bath instead of a fortune machine? And now I'm officially going to have nightmares. Secret number four takes us southeast of Tumbleweed, where we can find whale bones in the desert. Obviously, it's not an unheard of discovery for whale fossils to be found in desert regions, far from the sea where they would naturally be able to inhabit. Regardless, it'd be up there as one of the last things you'd expect to encounter in a desert such as this. And it isn't even the only one you can find in the game. You can find one west of Strawberry. This is just a testament to this game's insane attention to detail. They've added so much of what you expect to see, that there's plenty that you wouldn't expect to see too. Secret number five is the mysterious Blackwater Cipher, located obviously in Blackwater. West Elizabeth. At several separate points on the map within the town of Blackwater, you can find mysterious Aztec writing. When all of these mysterious writings have been located and marked in your journal, they supposedly translate to read, Blessed are the peacemakers, Ayatiotl, in reference to Ayatiotl, a mysterious woman slash goddess slash force of nature from Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. As for Blessed Are the Peacemakers, this line is featured quite prominently in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Redemption in different ways, and if you've played both games enough, you'll certainly know what it means. Secret number 6 brings us to Saint Denis, specifically to Saint Denis Fence. It's here where behind the counter on the shelf we can find the green mask from Undead Nightmare. In Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, this mask being stolen from the catacombs beneath Escalera by Abraham Reyes is what caused the Undead Plague. Now, it's here, however, as you can imagine, there aren't any zombies running about, so it's likely just an easter egg. But then again, this guy's literally got a dungeon behind his bookcase, so you can never be too sure. Secret number seven, Old World Scripts. Now, at this spot on the map, you can find what appears to be a Norse runestone. Just like the old Viking burial tomb you can find in the world map, this runestone 
is based off the fact that Scandinavian Norsemen were able to reach North America during their travels, hundreds of years before Christopher Columbus. The runic inscription translates as follows. We arrived by boat, beautiful land, gracious people, so we left them to live in peace. Now this secret is harder to come by for one reason, it's not placed somewhere difficult to get to or anything like that, but it's as far northeast as you can really get, say for a little island a bit further afield, but there is no other reason for you to even look there. Secret number 8 brings us to a field a short distance from the Meteor House, for it's here where after 2am we can witness a meteor shower. Nice little detail, all of these meteors falling to the earth and crumbling up in the atmosphere, and not one of them is going to give us that third meteor fragment. Secret number 9, Otis Miller's Revolver. In the Red Dead universe, Otis Miller is a famous outlaw, a legendary gunslinger associated with the Wild West, and leader of the Otis Miller Boys who would eventually be shot and killed by another member of his gang. At these two locations on the map, we can find and kill hermits, but more importantly, at each location is half of a treasure map. When pieced together, the back reads, My life is threatened daily, and the whole world seems pitted against me. I have been hunted for many years and charged for numerous crimes of which I am innocent. Many brave fellows, not a coward or a liar among them, have died for riding with me. I fear betrayal and I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. I am hiding these personal effects for safekeeping until I'm able to prove my innocence and will be living with my wife and the Tatum brothers, the last loyal friends I have left. The treasure map will take us down into New Austin to this spot just west of Twin Rocks. It's here where in a tiny cave we can find Otis Miller's revolver. And of course, use it for what it's good for, shooting a cactus. And finally, secret number 10. In Valentine, at this house, at night you may find a pair of blokes peeping through the window. I wish they'd hurry up and get on with it. God damn. I know. <laughs> Enough of the prologue. Let's get to the main act. I'll be done 10 minutes ago and had time to clean my boots. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. Look at them. They're all over each other. There's three sheets to the wind, I reckon. You pair of reprobates. Let's get out of here. Inside, we can witness a couple who have clearly smoked too much opium. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh, but you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the cloud. They had such a great time, they forgot to shut their curtains and I got to witness whatever that was. Anyway, that brings us nicely to the end of 10 Red Dead Redemption 2 secrets that many players missed part three. Did you miss them or did you find them? I'm sure there will be plenty of people who found many of these, if not all 10, let's be real, this game's been out for a while, but just the same, it's been a fun video and I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be super fantastic. And again, massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And remember to follow the link in the description using the code POGFISHYSEP16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. Anyway, hopefully I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, please take care and goodbye.